boxer must be in the ultimate condition, shape, and frame of mind in order to achieve his goals in the ring. The job of getting a fighter in this type of physical and mental readiness falls upon the trainer. The trainer must know how to prepare his fighter as well as coach him in the ring. One of these great modern day trainers is Joe Goosen, trainer of champions. The conditioning and training a fighter goes through all starts in the gym, practicing combinations, moves, and enduring vigorous physical workout will prepare the fighter for his battle. The Rollins brothers will let us in on their best kept training secrets and world championship skills as taught to them by their trainer, Joe Goosen. Today we're going to go into one of those gyms with Joe Goosen, who's trained the likes of Michael Nunn, the Rulers brothers, and Frankie Lott. The Rulers brothers are both going to be fighting for world titles in the upcoming months. Joe Goosen will show you proper stretching and warm-up, bag drills, jump rope, and boxing skills. Remember, this is a follow-up to our first video in which we learned punches, blocks, and foot placement. Right on the floor, right on the flat of your back, stretching your uh, quadriceptic muscles, and uh, you're going to alternate legs on either side. And you do this for a good five minutes on uh, each side. All right, so you've finished doing both legs here. You're almost completed. You're doing your last stretches, of course, with your hamstrings, your thighs, your calves. And uh, the next thing you want to do is stand up and maybe stretch your waistline a little bit now. And you do that by just spreading your legs a little bit. Bending over, bending to the side, rotating a little bit as the fighters will demonstrate. There's no actual one set way, it's what feels comfortable and what feels like it's working for you and loosening up your hips. Of course, it's a necessity to work your hips and keep them loose because of course you need to rotate your hips as well as your legs to get the most out of your punching power. As you can see, the stretching doesn't just stop at the legs, it continues up to the waist, the shoulders, uh, the groin, and up to the neck and head. So, you know, from the tip of your toes to the top of your head, you should do some form of stretching for almost every individual part of your body. Stretch. I like to bring them out of the speed bag. It keeps their timing sharp and it gets a nice little sweat going from them. Here you go, Rafa. Now, 
The other thing you can do on the speed bag is here, of course, you can keep that repetitive pace just like that. But there's another way to work the speed bag, and this is to keep your punches sharp and short. And Rafa's going to demonstrate that by pu actually punching on the speed bag. Raphael did on the other bag, Gabriel on the other hand works the speed bag a little bit differently. He likes to get a little bit more mobile on his feet, moving around the bag. He likes to throw a lot more power shots on the speed bag as a, Raphael likes to throw the shorter and quicker punches. Gabriel likes to load up a little bit more, which is his fine. The last thing that is advisable on the uh, speed bag here is one can use it as a defensive tool also, which Gabriel will demonstrate for you. 